Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we will be taking a look at the Era 2 Premium, Medium, Medium? Heavy. I've done too many Medium reviews. <laughs> this is an Era 2 Premium Heavy. Sorry, my apologies. This is the X XM1 GM. So for those of you short on time, here are my very quick thoughts on the XM1. From a speed point of view, it feels decent. I mean, as you can see right now, I'm clipping along quite nicely. Not really that slow, not really that fast either. This is pretty decent. It feels pretty good forwards, but the power to weight ratio of this vehicle is 28.26, which means that while it's good forwards, it is incredible backwards. You can peak ridges so quickly in this thing, and it really does not struggle to get anywhere at all. And when you combine the mobility of this thing with the 10 degrees of gun depression and, an, and a turret that has armor that seems to hold up pretty well, well, you've got yourself a decent hull down heavy. And it's roughly at this point in the game where I use both the mobility, the gun depression and the turret armor to play this bit of ridge very effectively. The XM1 also boasts the highest penetration for standard rounds for all the premium heavies that are currently in the game. It comes in at 421 millimeters, which is pretty good. That is the best for all the premium heavies in the game as of now. Obviously, that might change in the future. We will see. So, so far, it's looking pretty good. But it gets even better because this thing has a 25% crew XP boost. So, if nothing else sells it, this thing is a crew trainer. If I had to say something bad, bad, well, if I had to say something bad about this tank, it would be that, as you can see, in so you've seen it a few times here, a, cu a couple of the shots don't quite go where you want them to go. The accuracy of the gun doesn't feel brilliant to me, and it, I mean, it's not slow, but. It feels like it takes a little longer than I'd like it to to fully aim. And I'm using the vertical stabilizer, the 12% the increase to aim speed. Accu so the accuracy doesn't feel brilliant, and the aim speed feels a little bit slow. But that's about all I can say that's negative about this vehicle, because on the whole, it's a very good tank. And the base asking price is 12,900 gold, which in my opinion is pushing the ceiling a little for the upper, the higher end of, a, of what is acceptable to ask for a, for a tank. But it's okay. It's still within a reasonable limit, in my opinion. So is the XM1 worth getting? It is a solid tank. It is well balanced, and it's a crew trainer. And so I have personally bought it for those reasons. But of course, you guys can make your own call based on how you feel about the game right now. Alright, so let's take a look at the XM1 in a little more detail. As I mentioned earlier, it has the highest pen on its standard rounds for all Era 2 Premium Heavies. Standard armor piercing has 421mm. Gold heat rounds have 430mm. And secondary high explosive has 250mm. Standard will do an average of 480 alpha. Gold will do an average of 460. And secondary will do 590. So... Secondary pen is good, and the Alpha puts it on the lower end for Era 2 heavies. But what's also interesting to note is that the gold rounds have more pen, but less Alpha. That's an interesting adjustment. That's an interesting break from the normal trend that we see in the game at the moment, which I quite like. The XM1 has 3,000 hit points, which puts it on the higher end. Unboosted, it'll max out at 73 kilometers an hour, which again is on the medium to higher end for speed. It has 470 meters of view range, which is average for the era. It has 468 meters of moving concealment and 437 meters of still concealment, which both of those values r place it as the best concealed era 2 premium heavy. You know. Heavy tanks aren't known for their concealment, but if 
if those values are important to you, then this is the best concealed premium heavy in era two. So it's got that going for it as well. Finally, the stock, with no equipment or any crews or anything like that, the stock DPM is 3,600, which again is on the higher end for this era. So all in all, this is a good tank. I don't think the price is crazy compared to what we've seen recently. You know, we've seen 18,000, 20,000. So, you know, pushing the higher end of, you know, 13,000, 12, 12,000, that's, it's okay. And this tank is not broken. It's not overpowered. And from a pen and alpha point of view, its ammunition load has, I feel like it's been well thought out. This tank feels like one that's had some extensive thought put behind it and it doesn't feel like it's just been rushed out in the hope of making some quick cash. That isn't the impression I get from this tank at all. This one feels like it's been really well balanced, really well placed in era 2. So the economy stats, let's finish on with the on on the economy stats here and these and these to some extent do lend themselves like I've mentioned earlier. So it has a 50% silver boost. 10% tank XP boost, 4% free XP boost, and the one that you're likely to care about is the 25% crew XP boost. If nothing else sells this tank to you, then Wargaming are hoping that the crew boost will. I mean, to some extent it has for me, because typically crew crew trainers are... Un what well, they're mediums normally and um, they're normally a unique vehicle or one that's difficult to get hold of. You know, it's it's a um, oh, like a G.I. Joe tank or something like that, something that doesn't come around very often. So this is just a regular, well-balanced, premium heavy that's a crew trainer. This is like, okay, this is actually okay. I like this one. And I think that's what makes this tank more appealing to me. Well, it made it more appealing to me anyway. And that is the reason why I have got myself one. But that does not mean you guys need to get one. You guys make the decision based on how you feel the game is right now and how you want to support them financially. <laughs> so I think this is a very well-balanced tank. I think it fits very well into Era 2. And I think Wargaming have done a good job with this one. So I'll let you guys decide whether or not you pick one up. All right, folks. That is all I've got for this one. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, if not a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.